we walk around with all this unnamed pain that organize our lives in ways that makes it difficult for us to know why we do what we do. So this assaulted sense of self is what happens to one's self uh, when one's self has been traumatized. It's very difficult to define or develop a clear sense of who one is. Because oftentimes, that if one's experience is that of being defined, then our sense of self grows out of proving that we're not how we're defined. Who I am is not, it's not what I organically become, it's who I am is in response to how I'm defined. Who I am is in response to how I'm defined. Our sense of self doesn't get to develop in quite the way organically as it should. We walk around with all this unnamed pain. Who I am is in response to how I'm defined. Voicelessness. It doesn't mean that one doesn't have, that one lacks the ability for utterances and vocalizations, but rather has to do with advocacy, speaking up on one's behalf. When we are silent, we walk around with our organs carrying matter and mess that the human organs aren't meant to carry. And that's what I realized my father, watching him there, all the stuff he's been carrying for decades of his life that he couldn't say. He had to be on his dying bed in a crazed state before he could say the things he needed to say to white people with white people not present. Rage, on the other hand, is much more primitive and occurs over a protracted period of time. So if you've been dominated, you've been dehumanized, and you've been degraded and devalued, you're going to have rage. To embrace our rage and help our young people embrace their rage, because I think that rage is like love. It's an energy source. When it's guided and directed, it allows us to reach the depths of our greatness. And when it's denied, it kills us. I'm hoping that you'll be in touch with your rage, acknowledge it, because when you get in touch with your enrage, it can become outrage. And outrage doesn't mean it, that it has the power to destroy, but it also has the power to build. I can see that brick. You can use that brick to take it and put up somebody's head, or you can use that same brick to have the first step toward creating a path, uh, a bridge out of, out of the circumstances you're in. That's out there. You have that. But we can't have that conversation if we don't talk about rage. When it's guided and directed, it allows us to reach the depths of our greatness. And when it's denied, it kills us.